Hi, baby. We are today in the court and uh, we are wedding. Mabrook, Mabrook, Salah and Chantal. Mabrook, inshallah, Mabrook. Thank you. Shukran. Mabrook, Mabrook, Mabrook. Hello, guys. We just finished from the marriage contract and we are going home to celebrate. Yalla. Wedding party. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, so I just decided to put together a few snaps of our courthouse wedding bees. I know it doesn't look like much to some, but for us it meant everything. It was very special because I was, well for me at least, I was marrying my soulmate. And I know Salah feels the same way. And mashallah, mashallah, I am so happy and I just want to share a little bit with you guys. We went to a courthouse. It was not a religious wedding. It was just done at the court. We're more focused on the legal side of things, just being legally married, and we'll have a wedding at some point, uh, maybe in the future, inshallah. So for now, this is all we decided we're comfortable with showing you. Um, People will just have to keep speculating and accusing us of being fake married. That's fine with us. We have decided that we will not be showing any kind of personal marriage contract. Number one, that's not anyone's business. And number two, we just don't feel comfortable with that kind of personal information being circulated online. So that will be our personal um information and also i will not be sharing personal information like my status here in kuwait and things like that but what we will do is just share a few snaps like i said of our day so i will explain a bit of the process from my perspective um basically we had to go to this courthouse and there were a lot of stairs to go up to get in and the place was very busy and had many many floors the elevator area was chaotic people were waiting a long time to get in an elevator and they were jam-packed this is one instance where i appreciate the gender segregation and the women had their own elevators and like a lift attendant so that was awesome which you'll see in the video as well in the video snaps and so then we went up to the floor where we had to wait to get to a courtroom. Uh, we did just, um, it, it was a bit of a process. You have to file for marriage and all this and that. Um, and so I know there's going to be some details left out, but again, these are just personal things and we appreciate our privacy being respected. Yeah, so <laughs> um, a lot of people just feel entitled to certain information and it's just, no, we, we have a right to privacy. So also, um, but there are some things I don't mind sharing with you guys. So also we, we got into the court courtroom and we stood in front of two judges and they basically asked me, um, they wanted to make sure that I accepted the marriage with Salah and that he did pay me the, I think they call it maher, if I'm pronouncing that right. It's something that um, Muslims in most Islamic countries do. The husband has to pay legally, um, give a gift, mon monetary gift to the wife and one during the marriage as well. So that's, um, I did... Um, that's personal as well but we agreed to but it's uh every marriage that happens here so uh also they asked me where my father was which really was an odd question to me because it just really but it you know it made me realize how important father figures are in the lives of women here um, so as parental figures, family, the family structure is very, very sacred here. So, um, you don't have many single parents if, I don't know if any, unless, you know, even if women are widowed or whatever, or divorced, they usually seek another husband and vice versa. So, um, usually the father is present to give the blessing for the marriage 
Uh, so I had to explain that I don't talk to my father and they just kind of looked at me sadly. <laughs> so um, Salah had to explain for me. He's so supportive in ways I can't even tell you guys. And yeah, so I am so happy. And this was uh, an experience for sure. Um, well, I don't know what else there is to say really, I guess. Just that we had to wait for a bit in the courtroom outside of the courtroom is what you see some of the snaps of and then inside the courtroom and i know there's a lot of confusion as to well uh, the status and all this and um the actual dates of marriage and the actual contract of marriage but those are all things that most people don't show online whenever they get married uh, they usually just show the wedding ceremony we didn't have one as of yet again it was just very um very qu it was a very quick courthouse wedding for now, but uh, inshallah in the future, we will organize some kind of party. So it was just low key and um, celebrated. We celebrated with friends after, friends and family afterwards in private. But um, that's basically all we did for the time being. And we will, if we do have some kind of celebration in the future, uh, that we can make public, we will, but there's a lot in my life now that I'm keeping private and marriage details, I think you can appreciate, especially with the amount of sleuths we have online, um, very invasive. The internet can be very invasive. So we just really think it's in our best interest to keep a lot private. And, but we did want to share a little bit of the day with you. So it was, uh, very nice day very special to marry my soulmate and I couldn't be happier I couldn't have asked for a more supportive husband in every single way and I feel very very blessed and I'm just going to try to take advantage of being positive and appreciate these blessings that God has given he's given me a wonderful man to take care of me and uh, as husband and wife this is of course my f my first marriage and may it be the only one in my life inshallah and thank you guys so much for watching this and we will see you in the next video bye bye masalama